Welcome to part six of my Adobe Illustrator CS5 tutorial. This tutorial is brought to you because Anna asked me to show some different ways of drawing in Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to show you my absolute favorite. What's on the screen right now probably looks like a photograph to you, but it is not, I promise you. As we zoom in, you can see exactly what we got here. And this was actually created in a version of Illustrator. I have no idea which version, but it was back around 1998. This is one of the first times I really took this way of drawing an illustrator to the max. So you can see it's just a bunch of different squiggles. You can also, I showed this illustration before, I did this in much the same style as before, and as you can see, it is a whole bunch of different squiggles on the screen. However, as you zoom away from it, it starts to look more and more realistic. I was completely obsessed in college of coming up with an original art style, and while this might not be original at this point in time, believe me, it was considered a kind of strange whenever I was doing it. And you can see here, this is a very bizarre looking man that I created first in Photoshop and then completely redrew an illustration. And again, a whole bunch of squiggles. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. And here is a piece that I've been working on for just about an hour and a half total. And it's a picture of my cat. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. First, what you have to understand, really, there's only a couple rules to drawing this way. And I think anybody can draw this way and do really, really interesting art. And like I said, you don't see this very often. So I think it's both interesting and at the same time, very easy to grasp. However, a little bit time consuming. It's not going to be something you just sit down and do, but I think it's well worth the time. Basically what you have to understand, and I'm just using a mouse to do all this, so you do not need any type of special equipment, but basically just need to know that the shortcut for pencil is N and the shortcut for the eyedropper is I, and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. I just basically just go by I. So I'll look at a piece of art, and I'm going to show you this in sped up time. I'm going to show you about a half an hour of drawing in about five minutes after I do this. But basically, I just come in here and I draw with this guy right like that. Little squiggle patterns. And then I switch over to the eyedropper, change it back. I copy the color that lies behind the little squiggle and I don't obsess about what color it picks and I send it to back. And I have the original artwork on a different layer than I have with this. And then I just rinse and repeat. So if I zoom in here a little bit, again, you can see the pencil tool that I have here on the screen. And I just sort of eyeball it and just go, yeah, that's kind of about what it is, right like that. And I switch over the eyedropper and then I throw it to back, holding down the shift command and the bracket symbol, the opening bracket symbol, or if you're on a PC, it would be shift control and the opening bracket symbol. And then I switch back. And it's, I'm doing this a lot slower than I normally do it, but you can see that it just basically gives you kind of like this wild and crazy sort of look. And this, what you see here on the screen, took me about, I would say, an hour and a half, and altogether it's probably gonna take about two and a half hours to do this whole entire drawing. But there's the basic drawing, and up next I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like in the process from beginning to about where we are right now.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was fun to make. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, till next time.